The FX markets taking a look at the British pound, the September British pound engaged in a slight pause from its overall downtrend. First down session in the last three for the British pound. Now I call this a slight pause as the overall trend is still clear. The British pound is working on its first positive week in the last four and only its second positive week in the previous eight weeks. Now today, a tight range and an even range up a third of a percent at 120.53, down a third of a percent at 119.72. This is all versus yesterday's settlement of 120.13. And as we went into the New York close of the cash markets, we were down 15 basis points, so right in between one tenth and two tenths of a percent lower at about 119.95. Now, inflation data come, came out yesterday or this morning, I should say, and the UK inflation data was stronger than expected. The June year over year came out at 9.4%. That's up 9.4% versus an expectation of up 9.3 and a last of up 9.1. And the month over month was up 0.8%. That's versus a previous and a last of a 0.7%. So a little bit stronger on inflation. That's the ultimately the high level inflation is already at. That makes those little two tenth and one tenth beats on those figures a little bit more shocking, a little bit more hard to take. Now, Governor Andrew Bailey gave a speech yesterday and he was hawkish. He spoke at the Mansion House in London and he said in that speech that a 50 basis point rate hike was open quotes on the table, end of quote. So he said a 50 basis point rate hike is definitely being talked about. And not only that, he added that it's time for the bank to draw plans to sell some of the bonds they've accumulated. And he followed up with, this is another quote, let me be quite clear, there are no ifs or buts in our commitment to the 2% inflation target. That's our job and that's what we will do, end quote. So a very hawkish governor of the Bank of England, not a massive effect on the currency today.